Hi again, it's me, Juan Molina, DG Shape Dental Product Manager. In continuing our series of Give Your DWX a Little Love, I brought the DWX52 DCI. We will discuss the latest feature added to B-Panel, Disc Changer Adjustment. We'll check the adapters, the position in the seat clamp, and then we'll test it. We'll perform maintenance and then auto correction. Let's go ahead and start. Check the version of ePanel. Make sure it's up to date. After that, let's check to make sure the firmware is up to date as well on the device. Let's go ahead to Advanced Settings. Under Advanced Settings, you'll see Adapter Stalker. Go ahead, click on it. Select the type of disc changer do you have. Open the magazine cover. Set an adapter to Adapter Stalker 1. Close all covers. Press the check button to move the traversal to check position. Once into position, open the magazine cover, check if the gap is between 0.1 and 1 millimeter. Close all covers. Click up and down buttons to adjust the gap. Repeat steps 5 through 8 if necessary. Check the clamp position. Go ahead and select the type of disc changer you're using. We're going to open the front cover, set the adapter by hand, close all covers, and press check. Place the adapter into position. The device will now move. We will check the gap to make sure it is within 0.1 to 0.9 millimeter. Device will return. We want to make sure to remove the adapter. We will scroll down now and check to make sure the traverser arm and the window have sufficient space. There's a gap in between. Now we're going to run a disc change test. Check, make sure there's no adapters in position in the clamp. Place an adapter in locations one and four and run the test. The device will move, pick up the adapters from the stalker and place them in the C-clamp. Let's perform maintenance. Go ahead and use the functions from vPanel. Click all the buttons to ensure that you're going through the right procedures. This information will also be logged in the system. Suction all male and zirconia within the traverser. Wipe down and clean. Use a fine brush. Go into those tight areas and remove any zirconia that can impede the flow of the adapters to position. Wipe down very well. Clean the ATC unit and the C-clamp. Remove any milling waste within the spindle area and wipe it down. More often you do this procedure, the better your machine will run. Now to complete the process, go ahead and perform an automatic correction. Clean the calibration jig and pin. Use isopropyl alcohol to wipe them down. I hope you found this presentation useful. Preventative maintenance is one of the most important topics you should focus on, along ensuring that the machine has the latest version of the drivers, firmware and v-panel. Make sure that you clean your machine as often as possible, calibrate it to ensure it runs to its optimum performance. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you again for joining us for this week's Tech Buzz Tip Tuesday. If you have suggestions for a future Tip Tuesday, please email us at dental at rollandga.com. Until next week, we'll see you then. Thank you.